Imagine that you run a popular search engine and you've surveyed your users to see where they're browsing from. You've collected the 785 responses and have assembled them into a list of countries. There aren't 785 countries in the world, which means that there are duplicate entries in the countries list. Slicing the list to see the first few elements confirms this. It would be useful to remove the duplicates to produce a list of all of the countries that users browse from. Well, a set in Python does exactly that. Sets are containers of unique elements without any particular ordering. We can create a set from a list like this. Set removes the duplicates, and the print function prints the unique values, of which there are 196 countries. Sets support the in operator the same way lists do. India is in this set. You can add elements to sets, but you don't use the append method like you do with lists. Instead, sets have the add method. Here, Italy is added. Sets also have a pop method, just like lists. When you pop an element from a set, a random element is removed. Remember that sets, unlike lists, are unordered, so there is no last element. Other operations you can perform with sets include those of mathematical sets. Methods like union, intersection, and difference are easy to perform with sets and are much faster than such operators with other containers.